And then the next thing I wanted to do is another, because now we're doing MIDI inputs, was yeah, connecting uh, the MIDI input to a talker. So I think, I think we've, we might have vaguely touched on this before, but I'm not 100% sure. So, so this one, um, first thing I'm going to do is create a talker. So I'm, I've got this MIDI input already, MIDI input 2. Um, I'm going to create a talker specifically for being triggered from, um, by MIDI notes, basically. OK, so uh, back to the Eigen Commander. Um, talker create. And then, as usual, we have to nameify it. The last thing we created is called it. So that talker is referred to as it. So I say it to. Um, I'll call it MIDI Talker. I don't know, MIDI Talker 27. There you go, why not? MIDI Talker 27 uh, Nameify. So it to MIDI Talker 27 Nameify. Hit enter, just check it says OK down there, and it does. OK. Um, and then, and then so, so we've got the talker, we've got the MIDI input, just, it's just a case of connecting the two together, and that's fairly straightforward as well. So I say MIDI input to activation output. So an activation signal in, inside EigenD is basically, it, um, it's basically the kind of, I guess, on-off and the key number for each note. Okay, so MIDI input two, activation output two. Um, MIDI talker, this is the one I just created, MIDI talker 27, activation input connect. So, so just go through that again. I said uh, MIDI input to activation output. So it's the activation output from MIDI input to, which I'm connected to the activation input of MIDI Talker 27. Um, okay, so that says okay as well. So that should all be set up. So now, so now we've got um, MIDI input is connected to MIDI Talker. Uh, next thing to do is kind of put the Talker phrases into the Talker. So we say, first of all, we say MIDI Talker 27 listen. Um, so we need both, basically, uh, as, as always with creating talkers, to create a talker we need the talker in the conversation and we need whatever we want the talker to control to also be in the conversation. So, so in this case, um, what I, first of all, I'll just do the metronome, it's a nice simple e example. So uh, I'm going to try and get the metronome to start via a MIDI note. So MIDI talker 27 listen, metronome listen, and then I'm just going to say when one start. Okay, so. Ordinarily, if that was connected to a key group on the eigenharp, what I'd have to do is press key one of the key group that's connected to that talker to trigger off the metronome. But as this is connected to a MIDI input, uh, what I'm going to need to do to trigger off the metronome is play MIDI note one on a MIDI keyboard. I haven't actually got a MIDI keyboard with me. So this is a bit of a blag, but in, in, Logic, I've, in Logic Audio, I've got um, the caps lock keyboard. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so hopefully, if I press W, which is C sharp, because um, C is MIDI note zero, so yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but let me stop it again. Metronome, metronome A, stop. Okay, so yeah, basically what I just did then is I played from Logic, I, I just used the caps lock keyboard to play MIDI note one, which is like C sharp minus two. So hit hit that one, and and you can hear that yeah the metronome starting when I do that. So just get rid of that metronome. Hey, stop. Okay. Um, so that, that I mean that's that's fairly simple. So now I can repeat that process with different um, different commands. So so now to move on to Jose's question, the first one was how to trigger and change sounds through MIDI notes, um, sampler one, sampler two, clarinet. Um, so. So I think what, what, what Jose means there is how to choose between audio unit one, sampler, um, sampler one um, via a MIDI note rather than using the mode key and holding the thing, thing down. So I have actually noticed a slight problem with, with this, um, this phrase. So normally what we do, I'll just show you what we do normally. So we'd say um, K group one, hey, this is to, without using the mode key, choose which output selected. So I say K group one, hey, and then I could say something like uh, output um, let me think. So output 100 and uh, sampler three should be output 109. So output 109 choose. K group one hey output 109 choose. Um, but the thing is, if you go off the full screen thing, the thing is, so I, I said 109 choose. That said all okay. Uh, it's still on the piano. It should be sampler three, but it's kind of a weird bug. So, but then if I press the mode key briefly, it changes for me. So there's, there's kind of a bug. I'm going to go through how to do it anyway, so then it's recorded, and I'm sure it's, it'll be quite an easy thing to, to fix. So, um, so okay, so it's, it's 
fairly straightforward again. So um, I'm going to do all join, make sure there's nothing in my conversation. Then I need to add this talker, so this MIDI talker. MIDI talker 27, listen. Um, and then I'm going to say K group 1, listen. K group 1, listen. Okay, and then, uh, so I've already, I've already put the metronome start on, ki on MIDI note 1, so I can put this... So I'm going to say on MIDI note two, I want this to change the piano, which happens to be, which happens to be MIDI, um, sorry, key group output 107. So um, K group, so I'm going to say when, when two, 107 choose. Oh no, sorry, I did that wrong. It's actually 107 when two choose. Nope. Don't you love this? K okay, group one. Um, maybe do we do? I'm going to say output. Output 107 when to choose. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Okay. So it's actually output 107 when to choose. I should have known that. Okay. Um, and then I'll do another one. So I'll say, uh, and then when I press MIDI note three, it's going to choose sampler three, which is output 109. So I'll say output 109. When three choose. Okay, hit enter. So now that's all set up in the talker. Um, so remember there's a slight bug of it. If you if you go off the yeah. So um so MIDI note one was the metronome. So if I hit MIDI note two now, so I'm doing this in logic again on the caps lock keyboard. So that's an S. So hit MIDI note two and that should now change the piano. But remember this is bug, so I just have to hit the Mo key briefly and it's changed the piano. Um, and then I'm going to hit MIDI note 3, um, piano until I hit that, and, and that, now that's changed to the sampler 3. So there's a slight bug, but at least, like it's, at least the bel canto is there and you know how to do it, and then I'm sure it, I'm sure it won't be very difficult to fix that. Um, and then finally, is how to trigger scripts from this as well. So again, this is just another case of another talker really, but interpreter, let me just try. One does not exist, does not exist. Um, okay, so I haven't actually got any scripts in here, but again, <laughs> I'll just tell you how to do it. So, it's, uh, so the phrase for that would be um, how to trigger scripts. What you'd do is you would say, oh, join. So I've got this new MIDI talker, MIDI talker 27, listen. And then interpreter, listen. And then you basically say, like, when the name of the script, um, so say I had a script called script one. You'd say script one when, um, so I've already used MIDI notes one, two, and three, when four, run. So that, that's as simple as that. So now if I, hit, if I had a script called script one, when I hit uh, MIDI note four, uh, basically it would run this script for me. Okay, so I think that's probably <laughs> it for today then. Uh, cool. Have a, good, have a good rest of the week, and we'll see you next, we'll be back on Thursday next week. Uh, yes, that's yes. it. Yeah, cool. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>